Hey, music listeners, uh, this is Sean from Unclaimed Bands, and our guest tonight is Shane Garrett. Yeah. Welcome, Shane. Welcome, Shane. So, Shane, you, uh, you were here because uh, this is our very first full video interview, okay? Yeah. So, uh, thank you for trusting us. Yes. Honored. Yes. I'm, I'm, I don't know about honor, but trust me. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to get to that, okay. okay? I wanted to address the guest first. Okay. guest is always This first. is, uh, and next to me is Fritz. I'm sorry about this, everybody. <laughs> I'll do uh, it. Say he likes me. So, I like you know, Shane, you uh, you recently just won uh, the uh, Song Builders Contest here. Yeah, that's uh, great. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. What's this yeah. experience been like working um, on this new song with them? Yeah, well, um, first of all, this is my first time in the studio. I've never, I've been in home studios before, you know, recording, you know, messing around pretty much, but never like anything professional, never one of my songs that, it's it's funny really to hear my song turn into something that I never thought it could be, you know, when mm -hmm. I'm in my cool. bedroom spending hours playing guitar, coming up with an idea that's like just acoustic guitar in my vocals, you know. Right. I think it's good, you know, I think it's a good melody, I think it's a good hook, I think everything's fine with it, you know, it sure. has a lot of potential, but what, what, what would I know, what would I know that, how would I know what it would sound like in the end, you know, and this is sure. really what, yeah. this is what it sounds like, it's really happening, it's so surreal, you know, but yeah, it's so far it's been great here, and I'm, I'm honestly blessed to, I, I didn't know what to expect, you know, it's, I've never been in the studio, mm -hmm. so I, right. I'm really blessed to have so, this opportunity. On working on this song because you you've done everything else acoustically, right? Uh, is this going to be fleshed out into more more full band kind of? Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, we got we got the bass, we got the drums, we got other you know we got organs. You know, it's cool sounds. You know, keys. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. We might. We might. Oh, still, well, still, 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 we don't know that. It's pr it's in progress. So. Okay. Yeah, you don't we're, know. We're, you don't know yeah. what's. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the yeah, door, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Right, right. <laughs> uh, so, how did you? How did you get uh, st started playing? I mean, you're you're only eighteen now, I'm right? Eighteen. Yeah, I just turned eighteen. Um, I grew up in a musical family. Uh, my mom sang, but not like not professionally. Just in the shower, not more than in the shower. You know, she can carry. <laughs> she, can, she can carry like a tune and stuff. You know, right. I mean, like she's she's a singer, but she didn't like pursue it ever. So I'm the youngest in my family. I have an older brother and an older sister. My uh, brother, when he was like 10, got his first drum set for Christmas. That carried on, he stuck stuck with drums, still plays drums. He's now 20, turning 21 in a couple weeks. And so he obviously influenced me, so that started it right. all. Mm -hmm. and my sister came along and she picked up piano when she was also like 12. Wow. You know, young, yeah. And so uh, I was, at the time, what was I? I was playing baseball, I was like eight, you know? I didn't think about music, you know? Like a normal kid. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly. And really, my sister started singing, and that's, I was like, I, I respected her so much, I looked up right. to her, you know, I idolized her, you know, and it was insane to see how much she was progressing year by year, you know. Right. So when I was about 14, I, well, before I was even 14, I, for years I've been, I've had an urge to play guitar. Okay. I think I tried when I was like eight, but I was too young. I, I, w I wish I could, I wish I started at eight and could continue, because who knows where I'd be right now, yeah. you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I was just too young. I couldn't. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy lessons. I started with lessons, but 14 came, got my first acoustic guitar, and everything really changed. At first, it was really hard for guitar. You know, the, the key to the guitar is patience. Like, yes, mm -hmm. you got to be very slow. You can't expect yep. to be Jimi Hendrix the next day. That's you know, repetition, like, repetition. You right, know right. And you yeah. you want you want to be, but it's like yep. frustrating. You know, trying to learn your basic chords. And I I remember looking back at like a notebook where my guitar teacher laid out everything that I was learning for the day, you know, for the for the next week, what I had to work on. I remember learning like basic D chord, strum this four times in yeah. a meter that's four, four. You know, I yeah. remember the basic stuff. I couldn't even do it. Look back and at that, that's just insane. I know it's off topic, but it's just, no, no, you know, but no, not at all. it's just, it's, it's weird to just look back and see what, where I came from, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, from, from there to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But you know, I'm thinking now too. In all honesty, as you're building your career, and yeah. you know, your brother plays drums, your right. sister plays piano, your I, mom I, sings. This is getting into very bunch of partridge family thing. Yeah, going on here. Well, definitely family thing. Definitely. Uh, I, I, I see. I see guests appearance on his phone. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't want to push him into that. Okay. I, why I you am, why are you telling everyone, man? Why you? Why did you just ruin it? No. All right, we're editing that part. Uh, Cut it. No, no, no. Seriously, have you ever have you ever played with, uh, yeah, with them at all? Yeah, with my siblings. Yes, I have. Oh, cool. But you know, we wanted to pursue that. It just never really happened. You know. Yeah. We all. It's not that we had like different genre tastes. You know, but right. it's just that we never got to it. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. we we wanted to. People. Right. Whenever I played out, Bridget played out. My sister Brandon played out. You know, they're like, you guys should 
form a band together, yeah. you know, the Garrett Trio or yeah, whatever yeah. you want to call it, you know. But mom, mom doing background vocals. Right. No. 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 <laughs> no, we, <laughs> no she's down. But we, we never got to it, you know. Never got to it. Yeah. It's just, there's always something, something in the back of the mind. But you, about you the holidays? Do you all sing around on holidays? No. No? No. Wow. I was, I was shooting for that. You, I'm sorry. Yeah, You're yeah, going yeah. the wrong way. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so with the uh, with the contest that you, you had here, uh, how did you find out about it? How did you, cool. you know, go all for right. it? Yeah. Um, it all started on Reverb Nation. And my mom helps me run that account. So with Reverb Nation, it's linked to Facebook, YouTube, all that. You know, it's mm -hmm. great for yes. promoting yourself, great for local musicians to get started, to get further discovered. And so with, with Reverb Nation, there's all these contests, competitions going on that you can enter, you know, enter for scouting, stuff like that. Yeah. Found this one, uh, entered it, and lucky enough, I said, I think they, Steve and, uh, it was uh, Steve, I think he said, it was 1,400 submissions. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. way to hurt. Yeah. And luckily enough, they, they liked my song enough, Lock and Key, I think it was, which I just recorded in my mom's friend's basement. I mean, he it was a nice studio, you know, right. but it was one of those home studios. Yeah, home studios. I'm talking about, you know what yeah. I mean? I didn't really get to host it. It's just a, a live take, you know, but. Really? Yeah, yeah lucky enough, they, they liked that and they decided to pick me. Oh, that's great. So, that's, that's fantastic. Great. Right. So with you working on this, about how long are you working on the song now? With the song, is this one of your original songs, or some, are they working with you to you know, craft yeah. any of the lyrics yeah, so, or anything? No, um, what it is is I wrote a song. It's called uh, All For You. And, yeah, I, I wrote this a couple of weeks ago, actually, so it's... Brand neat. new. Yeah, it's great that it's brand new, fresh wow. in my mind. I'm still springing up ideas, you know what I mean? But they, they help me in the aspect where, not lyrics-wise, but... They help me in the as aspect where it's all instruments, instrumentation, you know, stuff like that. They're bringing in the drums, the bass, all that. And I play electric too, so with solos and stuff like that, leads, they're mm -hmm. helping me with that totally. I'm learning so much in the past day, you know. Oh, yeah, you've only fantastic. been, you've only, right now, at right. the time of this, you've only been doing it one day. Yeah. So right. that's that's incredible, you're learning so much uh, right. already. Yeah. It's all the knowledge she's taken home with them. Oh, yeah, right. absolutely, absolutely. Right. absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about your influences? And influences. I mean, you know, besides, you know, obviously coming from a musical family sure, sure, and all sure. that, Who but outside Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like absolutely. Um, I guess I'll start when I was young. Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of classical rock, not by my choice, but because, you know, my... <laughs> Hey, Mom had it yeah, on. Yeah, they yeah, strapped yeah. me to the exactly. chair and forced exactly. yeah, it on. Yeah, my yeah. eyelids right. pop open. And right, right, right. So but yeah, like always rock. in the car, always yeah. around the house. There's always Led Zeppelin was a big one. My mom's favorite band, so always classic rock. That's the roots, you know. That's what started. I, I like listening to that stuff, you know. Uh -huh. I, felt, I felt cool, you know. I felt, right. you know, yeah. you're always like, oh, it's, this is sick, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what started it. And really, I liked Coldplay for a while. I still love Coldplay. I love what they're doing. I love how right. they're progressing with their music, you know? Mm -hmm. One of my biggest influences, yeah, definitely. When I was like, I want to say since middle school, you know, they've been around since like the early 2000s. But yeah, yeah I, I love them since I was an early teen. And then really I found uh, John Mayer and that's really where it took me to another level. Because right. I, I got influenced by Justin Bieber in the era where he was just starting and I was just 14 and I was like, dang, this kid's doing, this kid's blowing up, this kid's famous, this kid's doing everything that I want to be doing, you yeah. know? That's what really inspired me when I was 14. And I was like, if he can do it, I'm going to try doing it too, you know? That's what inspired me. And I found Mayer and it just took me to a whole another level, you know? I wanted to learn guitar because of him, electric mm -hmm. guitar that is. Right. He's just insane on guitar, you know? I loved his melodies, I loved everything that he did music-wise, so. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now, after you're done this single, and and you know, I know you have a couple others that you recorded in the home studios and stuff. Mm. Are there plans to uh, put together an EP or a full record? Sure. Uh, um, not that I don't have any like plans that are set in stone. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely I want to do that. You know, what I mean, I have I have so many songs written. I'm not sure if they they definitely all have potential. You know, what I mean, sure. But you know, definitely they can be crafted in the studio. But yeah, I don't have any set plans to record an EP. But I hope that this single does really well. Yeah, and right. that might lead to it. Right, so exactly. Turn Perfect. into it. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, you got to start someplace with it right. and, and all that. Right. And uh, you're like a lot of uh, a lot of really great songwriters that we know uh, who who are very prolific in writing. So obviously you've got that down. Thank you. So it's not for a lack of material or anything else like that. But that's right. good. You're taking your time and not rushing it. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's Definitely. that's that's, well, that's the market, best part. That's of the market quality. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what you try to do. Um. Now, th this is this is cool. We don't get to normally ask this to someone. At, at, 
as young as yourself. Sure. Uh, so what's what's the first record you remember buying yourself? And I don't mean vinyl or anything. Just right. the first piece of music you right. remember buying it's, yourself. Like it's it's not necessarily like a record, but like I remember listening to a Kids Bop CD that I bought when I was like twelve. You know? Okay, that's that was like all. I was like all the hits on the radio at the time, you know what I mean? I can't remember any of them, but <laughs> if you want like a specific song, I guess it'd be uh you too. We really it'd be a uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday, and yeah, I rem this is a classic. It is a classic. It, yeah. I, to, I love that song. Right, and this is like I just love that this song. is a great memory that I will always have. And it's my mom singing Sunday Bloody Sunday to me, and she's like, "Sing this back, Shane." And so I sung it back to her, and she was like, "She's blown away that like, I could." sing it right in tune right back to her. everything she was doing I just repeated just like that you know oh, that's, that's cool it just that's came great. natural so is, is that kind of when she first kind of like yeah. realized oh my god yeah definitely it was yeah, it was really that moment where it's just like this kid's got it you know oh and fantastic at the time my, my siblings were like oh no he can't he can't do that <laughs> <laughs> you know he you know can't I mean? be better like, than us yeah yeah exactly but, <laughs> put him back in it that's yeah. funny punish him Sim get him upstairs. sibling rivalry yes. shines it's an ugly head yes. <laughs> um you know, when you when you look back at, at, at a very short time of playing and, and performing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. what do you think has been like one of your biggest moments? Uh, biggest you know, as an artist. Um, I mean, I've played in like, I've I've been all over the country playing out. You know what I mean? There's, that that itself is really cool. But I don't know, like some like legendary like places I've been at is uh, well, one one place in particular is BB King, the BB oh, King yes. in New York City. Yes. Yeah. Yeah insane how I played there you know what I mean like I just did a show with my brother he was on drums I was just playing guitar but still to just say you play there you know it's just insane you know BB King but I don't know hopefully that can escalate into like huge amphitheaters you know someday but a little bit of Sturgis a little bit yeah, of yeah man yeah. South yeah. by South right. South right. by South right. Right. but yeah. besides like playing out like mm -hmm. big accomplishments is definitely uh, technology wise like media wise is YouTube and from there like, I started posting covers and now I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers online, so wow. that's a big, that's big accomplishment. I never yeah. thought I could do that. I remember posting my first YouTube video, being anxious, waiting for people to come. Like, why aren't they coming? <laughs> what, what am I doing Nobody wrong? Nobody likes me. Yeah, what? right. What, what am I doing wrong? I was 14 at the time. I remember getting my first, like, five subscribers. I was like, all right, someone gets it. You know, right. someone's, someone understands me, you know? Right. Uh -huh. so, so five no. turned it to ten, ten to right. twenty. Yeah, so yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. how math works. Right. Yeah. Very good, Sean. I'm glad uh, somebody. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's how it friends. works. Yeah. See, oh. he's again eighteen. You no, know, oh, don't play game. You <laughs> don't have to make him keep playing games. Right. We're fine. No, no, no. You don't like um, you. What do you want people to get from your music? My what music. You, yeah. What do you want them to? You know, from your songs. Really, like any. Every song is different, you know. Obviously, and depending on what I'm feeling, what mood I am in, that's what I'll write about. You know. So. It could be happy, it could be sad, but basically for my music, I want people to know that someone's there for them. You know what I mean? I want them to relate to me like I related to other musicians, and I want to inspire other people in the way that I've been inspired. I want to keep passing that down, you know what I mean? That's sweet. Definitely. But, yeah, just inspire, and hopefully they can relate to me. Oh, great. I'll tell you what, we're going we're gonna to wrap things up here. Uh, before we do, is there anything you want to say to your fans out there, the 40,000 plus? I love them, yeah, definitely. They're, it's amazing the way that they support me and they support me through anything, so I'm so appreciative of them, and yeah, I love them. And, you know, uh, for the new song that you're working on here, yeah. do you have any uh, idea of uh, estimated time when you might be, be able to let people listen to it, re release it? I, I hope in, like, uh, under a month, I hope. Oh, you know, within a month, okay. I, okay, I cool. hope so, yeah. And what's That'd the be best place for people to keep in touch with you and find out about that? Sure, Twitter, definitely. I'm, Twitter? I'm most active on Twitter. The Instagram, I post a couple. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know all this. Like, Instagram, Twitter. Because <laughs> yeah, my parents don't keep up with this. We're all, we're all, we're not yeah. that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, but, I, I yeah. forgot how to spell it, but I know we're all yeah. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Right so it's, right. what's the address? Twitter? Yeah, Twitter.com slash Shane Okay, good. Instagram? make sure everybody else Instagram, just Shane Garrett. All that, yep. Facebook, cool. Yeah, Shangarette music, but if you look up Shangarette, you'll find it. Okay. So. All right, excellent. Well, Shane, I want to thank you. Thank you so uh, much. For doing this interview, I really appreciate it. Right. Uh, I wish you a lot of success going forward with everything. Thank okay. you. Okay, and I'm anxious to hear the song when it's done. Sweet. All right, cool. Thanks, everybody. Until next time. Great. Thanks, Shane. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks.